Hello. So, we're going to talk. Um, I have a bunch of construction story stuff that I want to, you know, share and everything. But first, I'm just going to go over what I did in Europe because, um, I mean, that is a cool thing that happened. So, my dad, a long time ago, met this guy from Europe through our church. Like, they were like, oh, we need to have some pastors and they, they need to speak English. So, they sent a bunch of people over to America and they needed to get hosted by people in America. And my parents volunteered for that. And so they had this uh, Bulgarian guy named Pecho come over. Uh, he and his wife stayed at my parents' house for, I don't know how long, but they learned English there, right? So now they went back to Bulgaria and it's been like 15 years or so since that happened. And so every once in a while we go over there to see them or they come over here to see us. So that's pretty cool. And um, so my dad was like, man, like, I just really want to go over to Bulgaria again. And then one of the pastors from over there called him up and was like, hey, I'm going to be uh, dedicating my church. It would make me very happy if you would come up and see me do this. And it's like, okay, sure. So my dad decided to go to that. But my mother was working in school and my brother's in Australia and my sister doesn't do that kind of thing. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go with you. So my father paid for the tickets, and then we went over to Bulgaria. Uh, first, we stayed in Paris, though. So we went to Paris for five days, and we hung out and s saw the sights, and uh, it was actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of very interesting stuff there. I love the architecture and everything. I made, I took a lot of pictures and posted a lot of stuff, and I have it on my Instagram, which I can put in the description if you... I mean, I'll probably do that. But I took a ton of pictures, went to a bunch of places like the Pantheon and the Concierge and um, like the Eiffel Tower and everything. So it was pretty sweet. And then um, after that, I went to Bulgaria. So uh, we did the five days in Paris, then we hopped back in the plane, went to Sofia in Bulgaria, and then we drove in a car for like two hours and ended up in, not Sozopol, but... Uh, I forget the name of the town, but it's next to the Black Sea, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we stayed at a guy's place there for a couple days, and then we were there for his church dedication, and then we drove back across Bulgaria to Trajevna and stayed with Pecho there. Uh, so that was pretty sweet. All in all, it was about a week and a half, I think. Uh, it was a pretty cool trip, and it was very interesting not really having much to do because it'd be like, yeah, make sure you get on that airplane in five days. Other than that, yeah, just hang out. And to me, to me, like, I'm always very busy. Like, with school, it's like, go, 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 go. Like, and with work, it's like, go, go, go. But when I got there, it's like, what do I do? Do I do anything? No? I just, just sit here and relax or something? What? <laughs> so it was just really interesting to be in that like completely different environment where I do not have enough resource to actually like achieve something so I had to just hang out because for me like to rest when someone says oh yeah like I took some time off to rest or something to me resting is standing still or staying in one spot for like two to three hours if I do that I'm fine for the next three or four days or something and so that's all I've been doing for the past you know 12 months or whatever that I've been in school and working and stuff so when we went over to Bulgaria and they're like yeah uh, so what do we do oh you know just rest just hang out so I rest hang out come back to breakfast the next day all right are we do anything today oh no I'm just gonna rest and hang out and do stuff so it was just really interesting much um, I don't know if that's like actually what their lifestyle is or if that was just because they were hosting us but it was interesting and also, linguistics-wise, that's a thing. So if you don't know, I spent, um, I took three years of Spanish in high school. Now, I can't say that it's done much, but I can say that I do understand a decent amount of Spanish, and I do enjoy trying to speak it. However, I am not fluent in it. Um, I want to spend some time on a farm somewhere so that I can be. But based off that, Spanish is a Latin-based language, and so is French. So going to Paris and hearing people speak French, it was like, whoa. Because like I could kind of understand the root words of things, but I didn't like actually know French. So it was just really weird. Uh, I had two people mistake me for being French while I was there. That's probably because I was an artist and just 
dressed like a tool and just looked amazing, but absolutely not. I don't know. I just said bonjour really well. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to go to Paris eventually for a large amount of time just because I really enjoyed it. And I'm probably going to go back to Bulgaria eventually for a large amount of time because I really like that place. So that is where I went in Europe. And I hope that answers your questions. Now I'm going to try to organize a bunch of crap that I have. So you guys have an awesome day. Tell me how many languages you know or if there are any cool languages or something. I don't know. I met an old Russian man who knew nine languages. And I just was like... I want to be you, man. I want to be you. So, yeah. Peace out.